In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. Okay, I'm going to show you this basic example first. We have x plus 3 squared equals 25. I'm going to show you how to solve this problem in the wrong way first. I have seen people doing this many times. So why don't we just take square of both terms, take x squared and take 3 squared, which is 9, and that's going to be equal to 25, and subtract 9 from both sides, get x squared equals 16, so then x is square root of 16, which is 4. But you see, obviously this is not the, the answer, because if you plug that in, then we have 4 plus 3, which is 7 squared, is 49, and 49 is not exactly 25. Okay, so what went wrong here? What went wrong here is that this the first step. This is not the correct way of taking square of x plus 3. So what is the correct way of taking uh, square of x plus 3? So if we have x plus 3 squared, then this is actually x plus 3 times itself. And we have to uh, distribute everything out. x times x, this is x squared. x times 3 is 3x, and here is another 3x. Together that they make 6x. And then 3 times 3 is 9. More generally, we have this formula. x plus a number, say k, squared equals x squared plus twice of kx plus k squared. Okay, in this example, the value of k equals 3, and 2k equals, if k equals 3, 2k equals 6, and 3 squared equals 9. Okay, so now we know how to uh, expand this out correctly. But the thing is, we actually don't want to expand this out. See, let me raise this wrong answer. We don't want to expand the things out on the left hand side. What we could do is just take the plus minus square root. You, you apply the square root method. So what is square root method? Whenever we have something squared on the left hand side, whatever it is, if that thing squared equals a number on the right hand side, then that thing, that the thing that squared is plus or minus square root of the right hand side. That's square root method. And this number is plus minus 5. So then if you subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, we have x equals minus 3 plus or minus 5. So if this is plus, we have negative 3 plus 5, which is 2. Or, if, we this, if this sign is negative, we have negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8. So we have these two solutions. So let's verify these two solutions. Suppose x equals 2, then what do we have on the left hand side? We have 2 plus 3, which is 5, squared equals 25, that's right. What about the second solution? What if x equals negative 8? We have negative 8 plus 3 on the left. Negative, three, negative 8 plus 3 equals negative 5, and negative 5 squared is, it is positive 25. And that's correct. So, this formula over here, this is not in fact entirely useless. We're going to use this formula in the next problem. Okay, let's review the first example. If we have something squared, whatever it is, if the square thing is a number on the right hand side, we can apply the square root method and solve the equation. That's the idea, okay? And we're going to use the, the same idea in the next example, and we're going to use, use this formula over here in the next example as well. In fact, if you read this backward, it tells you how to, how to convert any given uh, expression into a perfect square. So, here is the next example. Okay, so let's write the formula from the first example again. x squared plus 2kx plus k squared equals 
x plus k squared. So let's compare these two. In the equation we have x squared, the same thing x squared in the formula. And we have 6x in the equation, and then we have in the formula 2kx. So if we want to apply the formula, we better have 2kx to be exactly the same as 6x. Or we want 2k to be equal to 6. Or k equals a half of 6, which is 3. So now if k equals 3, then the constant term in the formula becomes 3 squared, which is 9. But in the equation, we have 4. That's not 9. So how do we take care of that? So we're gonna, what we're going to do is to replace this 4 by 9. So the way to do it is to subtract 4 first and get x squared plus 6x and plus minus 4, they cancel out. And on the right hand side, we have 0 minus 4, which is negative 4. And then we're going to next add 9, add 9 to both sides of the equation. Then we have now a perfect square on the right, left hand side. This is going to be now equal to x plus k, k, the value of k equals 3, the whole thing squared. And on the right hand side, we have negative 4 plus 9, which is 5. Okay, so this is the value of k, and again, here is how you get the value of k. k is half of the coefficient of x, half of the number, half of the number in front of x. And this number you add to both sides of the equation, this is k squared. Okay, now we can apply the square root method to solve this equation. Now take um, plus minus square root of the right hand side, x plus 3 equals plus minus square root of the right hand side, square root of 5. Then if you subtract 3 from both sides, and we have x equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 5. And here we have the solutions. Okay, now we have another example here. Um, let's review the formula again. If we have x squared plus 2kx plus k squared, you can turn this into a perfect square. x plus k, parenthesis, squared. Okay, now the problem, in this problem, the coefficient of x squared equals 3 is not 1. So if you want to use the formula, we better have uh, the coefficient 1 here. So we're going to divide the first term, second term, the third term, and the term on the right hand side, everything by 3. And then you're going to have x squared plus 24 divided by 3 is 8, plus 60 over 3 is 20, and 0 over 3 equals 0. So now what is the value of k? k is, k is, the value of k is half of 8, which is 4. Now what is the k squared? k squared is 16. So instead of 20, we want 16. We want 16 to make a perfect square. So we're going to subtract 20 from both sides of the equation to make room for 16. And this is going to be negative 20. And then add 16 to both sides of the equation. Plus 16 and plus 16. Then we have a perfect square on the left, that's x plus k, k is 4, 4 squared equals negative 20 plus 16, that's negative 4. Now apply the square root method and take plus minus square root of the right hand side. So x plus 4 equals plus minus square root of negative 4. And this is plus minus 2i and subtract 4 from both sides of the equation, we have x equals negative 4 plus minus 2i. And here we have the solutions.